Good evening. Today I want to talk about the financial sector in India. It is in for a rapid change. What is going to happen is what I want to talk about. And the first mover is Google. Though Facebook moved first by saying that it would give people who advertise in its platforms access to loans and they tied up with an NDFC to do so. But it didn't make much of a noise. But what has made a big noise is what GPay is doing. GPay is an app that runs on Beam, which is basically NPCI's app, and it has been very successful. And since Google has been a very trusted brand in India, it has taken root, and WhatsApp Pay has not managed to do it. Google has been exploiting this for some time. It has now created a website or an app in which you can, there are places being sold called as Spot. Already there are 31 spots in Google Pay. These are financial services sectors, companies which exploit custom Google's database. But what raised eyebrows is the way Equitas has now bought a spot. Equitas was originally an MFI lending to people at below the pyramid. And what happened is it made, became a small finance bank. Equitas is very popular because it gives very high deposit rates. India's deposits are skewed in favor of the public sector banks with the SBI capturing most of it. Bank after banks in private sector has become very aggressive in taking deposits and then when it has reached its level, it stops. The first bank which I saw which became very aggressive was Kotak Mahindra which gave high interest rates and then came IDFC first. But along the way came small finance banks which gave higher interest rates. There are a lot of names for them. In South and in Tamil Nadu especially, Equitas became very popular. So these people were hungry for funds and since they were new, gave higher returns on the savings banks as savings bank rates and also a higher rate for fixed deposits. But they do not have the network and the reach that NSBI has in the hinterland of India and there was no way they could have climbed over that point of having no branches in rural areas. So what Equitas did was a very intelligent thing. It tied up with Google and said on Google Pay, we would have a spot. The spot would in turn, you could press the spot. Google will take you to the website of Equitas and there Google rolls ends. And from that website, you can send your know your customer papers, open a fixed deposit. And then when you put the desired amount, Google will take money from your current bank and transfer it to the fixed deposit account of Equitas. This is already there. You can already open, go to the Equitas website and open the say, fixed deposit account. So what is new, you may ask. What is new is the role of Google because GPA has millions of customers in India. All these customers will have access to Equitas. Equitas gains because it has does not have millions of customers across all geographies. So they get access to a large pool of Google clients. So Google will keep on offering higher fixed deposit rates from Equitas. Google will act as an interface and lead the customer to the website. And once the customer comes to the website, Google has no idea of how much deposits you have put or what you have done with it. So Google rolls end. So Google is doing the right thing by saying we have nothing to do with it except collecting a small marketing fee. What Google is doing is successfully monetizing its app. It's already providing 32 other services from which it's monetizing, like selling digital gold. Why should RBI be concerned? RBI is concerned because lending and deposit taking is now controlled by Reserve Bank. Money deposit taking institutions are strictly regulated by Reserve Bank of India. Not many people feel is that this is a backdoor entry into banking sector by the tech. I agree because Google is not collecting all this data for free. The more and more we use Google Pay, we are giving more and more financial data to Google. So Google is ready to share this with any commercial vendor and you have given them the permission. So Google has access to database and will, if you pay them the correct fee, will take you to the exact customer who has money and who will put fixed deposit. Suppose there's an elderly customer who has given parked about 1 crore in State Bank of India at 5% or 4.5%. He can be guided by Google by prompting and by anchoring to Equitas, which will give 8 or 8.5%. The senior citizen may shift from 
one entity to another entity. It is to be noted in case of both entities, Reserve Bank is guaranteeing up to 5 lakhs in deposits. So, and so far in the history, even the smallest bank has been rescued by Reserve Bank of India and depositors' interest has been protected. Therefore, whether I keep my money in Equitas or whether I keep it in State Bank of India it is not a problem. Google as the intermediary helps you to shift money from State Bank of India to Equitas. Already, public sector banks are struggling because they do not have access to technology and are not as powerful as the new private sector banks. These guys appoint more people, people who understand technology better than most of us and use them to get clients. This means that the new private sector banks will become more nimble and gain more market share and market share especially in more profitable areas. As the India ages, more and more people who understand technology will do more banking. Therefore, the old traditional style of a bank manager having a relationship with the client is gone. Most people who work in IT or any large corporate company would have never visited their bank. The app and the website become their bank. Google, by allowing Google to enable this, you are allowing one day Google to become an universal banker without actually having a license. It enables today Equitas to take deposits. Tomorrow you can Google Pay will allow you to borrow from using its app. That is the function of the banker. It collects money and it collects it took money while it's taking deposit. It will also collect money when it lends. And it will be the arbiter to decide which bank can lend and which bank can deposit. That is the power of technology. And that is what RBI wants you to look at. But this is a curveball and RBI has not yet started to act on it. Thank you for watching. Be rich. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.